right, we're gonna play some ski free. Let's do the freestyle first. This was what was happening on PCs back in the early nineties. Alright, I need some style points. Oh, here we go. Whee! Down the hill we go. Now, apart from the arrow keys, I have one thing I can do, which is press F to go fast. Here we go. You ready? Whee! There's the finish line for one of the other events. Oh, more style points. At the end of this um, is the iconic abominable snowman who just eats you. And for some reason they thought that would be a better way to end the game but, whoops, than to just have it go back to the title screen or something. And I clearly remember at school we discussing with my friends. Everyone would lie at school and say, oh, I got the secret. Yes, yeah, see, there, there we go. High score word. I got the secret to get the abominable snowman. No, you don't. There's no way to get away. So look, you'll see that the uh, the time and the style points are no longer going to move. I think even if I crash... Yeah, let's run into this rock here. Yeah, see, they're not going to move. So um, I want to switch over to fast mode because if I keep going like this, I'll get eaten. And going the fast mode is really the only defense I have to maybe outrun... Outrun the Wii... Down the oh, there he comes! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! <laughs> and he jumps there, taunting me until I hit F2. Bob, Bob. All right, we're gonna try the slalom this time. Oh, oh, I missed one. Let's get the other one. No, I missed that one too. For each one you missed, I think it adds a second onto your time. It's either a second or a half a second or something. And I usually just play the, the freestyle, but I have a few seconds registered. One thing that's interesting was when I was looking for DOS programs, like old computer games to make videos for, um, I think this is the one. I, I filled a folder with like 20 programs, and this was the one that was like I wanted to play it apart from just making videos, like just to play it. Like I, I really played this a lot way back in the day. There we go. Slowest time yet. Great. And now it's time to fight the, uh... Wah! Let's see if I can outrun the Abominable Snowman once again. Come on! <laughs> um, I have the screen shortened so that you can see what's going on to make the sprites bigger. But if as you resize the window, the playing field will adjust. So generally, um, when you play, you want to just maximize it so you can see as much of the field as possible. And that's the best way to run from the Abominable Snowman. You press F to go fast, and with a full screen, you have a better chance of dodging rocks and trees. And that way he'll actually chase you for a while before he devours you whole. Oh, here he comes! Oh, I got away! Oh, there's another one! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We've got, we, we've got one, one thing left to do. That's the tree slalom. This is a lot like the other one, except um, the, uh, uh, the the signposts are more in a line, which I appreciate. And, uh, oh boy. Oh no, I missed one. It's kind of nice that, like, even though it looks really dorky, the, the way the obstacles are laid out is random. They're randomly generated. And, yeah, they don't even scroll at the same speed, like some are traveling faster up the hill than the others. Oops. But, um, different experience every time you play, man. This is totally a roguelike. It's the world's first skiing roguelike. Uh yes, not the slowest time ever. Good times. All right. Um let's have one more battle with the uh with the abominable snowman. Hit F. You got to watch the mouse because they tried to set it up for mouse controls, 
but instead what they ended up doing was just making it so that when you accidentally hit the mouse the guy just goes crazy. I don't know exactly how this was distributed in the day, back in the day. I think it was a pack-in with Windows, like a specific uh, um, version of Windows 95. Because we had Windows 95 when I was a kid, but we we didn't get this game. I had to get it from... Oh, here he comes! Oh! <laughs> I had to get it from one of my friends at school. Why is that tree in the upper left-hand corner walking? Oh, boy. One other thing I noticed, if you press up and start slowly climbing up the hill... Wait, if I press up, I can do it faster. Yeah, there you go. No! If you go slowly up the hill, then eventually the uh, the abominable snowman will come get you. So he lives below and above the place where you actually can ski. <laughs> Which means somebody set up a ski resort right in the middle, middle of... De oh, there he is! Oh! <laughs> Oh boy. This game's always been freeware. It never costs any money ever, so it, if you dig it up on an abandonware site, you're more than welcome to download it and enjoy it for free without any um, w without any guilt issues. It runs... I'm running a Windows 7 laptop, and it seems to be running just fine. So, yeah, you don't need DOSBox or anything like that because it's a native Windows program. All right, guys, this is Critical Failure. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.